tell you it was going to be a late one. I didn't think it'd be this late, though. Sunderland have announced the signing of Jay Matey. He's 20-year-old from Fleetwood. But just before I get on about this, uh, uh, Sunderland Twitter has been amazing tonight. Probably the best I've ever known it. And I, am, I know I am being online, but it's been unbelievable. If you haven't got Twitter, get it, because it's been unbelievable tonight. I never thought me nana would be involved in Sunderland Twitter. I know it sounds mad, but somebody's used a clip off one of our videos of years ago when Sunderland were tweeting about signings. They put me nana in the me nana's video in the comments and they said, um, she, me nana says, took your fucking time, haven't you? Talking about the signings and it, it, it blew up. The, the person who put it on that tweet, uh, tweet blew up and it was just meant to say, like it brought back loads of memories and that. It was, it was, it was class. I absolutely love Sunderland May, like it's amazing. And obviously, we Philly absolutely smashing now got trending he is of what he's done I, I recorded a video of him knocking on the car announcing before philly announced before never mind keith daft dewey who lives in newcastle who, who's just newcastle or any anybody at sky for that matter we philly done it he went down there stuck the knocked on the uh, glass window and says before it's before it's before the, the window come down we philly stuck the camera in and he, and he went, are you, are you glad to be here? He went, what do you think? And then, oh, it was just, it was mental. I, I, ca I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. It's been absolutely unbelievable tonight. And obviously, we're still waiting for someone to announce before. But like I said, they've announced GM here. He's 20 year old from Fleetwood. He's he's only five foot eight. I thought he would be big, a bit bigger, but that doesn't mean nout. He's very physical. He's good with the ball. He's good in the air. He can pass. And he's very good defensively as well. I've only seen clips on Twitter. I didn't. I, I'm not really. I didn't know really loads and loads about them. But is that midfield what we need? Um, obviously, look, well, nine's coming back. Evans is in that spot. Uh, Dan Neil's not like a defensive midfielder. He's more like an attacking midfielder. So I feel as if um, Mate here when he comes in, he's, he's he'll either going to fit straight into the team or he's going to be on the bench ready to come in. For me, I would probably start him. I would probably start him because a lot of Fleetwood supporters who have been looking on social media and not one of them have said a bad word against them. That actually, they all really like him. So for me, it's a good signing. It's a, it's a midfield spot what we need. Obviously, we need a centre-back. Still waiting on that. I'll stop up all night if it, if it means be. I'm going to be in the studio for the default announcement, though, when that finally drops. So stay tuned on the channel. It's going to be very eventful. Eventful. Like I say, if you're not on Twitter, get on there. It's absolutely hilarious. My, my uh, link is in the description of my Twitter in any way. So I'm going to go back to just looking for the form, waiting for someone to announce Defoe. And I'll see you in my studio on when Defoe's announced. <laughs>